who is actually your competition? Let's just hone in on one small part, which is how quickly you reply to email inquiries. Now, I'm a little bit against the, um, and this is just myself personally, so the instant reply, well, it's like boom, boom, <laughs> suddenly you get a reply and it's very generic. That being said, um, let me just share with you one little story and you can see how this can actually work. So first of all, our competition is not your other agents in the area. They're the people like Amazon. They're the people like Facebook. They're the people that you're actually, people perceive to be the best experience they're having. The gap between their best experience and you is, is where the opportunity is. So what we did, and I uh, before I was with, I've been with this realestate.com for about eight years. Um, I worked with a lady called Judy Goodgen. She was one of the number one agents um, in the Ray White group back then. And we used to use this as a tool, and you'll be able to use this as, as a BDM tool to get rid of the competition. A um, little bit like Curtis talked about building FOMO. So what we do, just before we leave the, uh, the, the presentation, we say, listen, whoever you choose, one of the most important things is that they actually look and nurture after any leads that you spend marketing um, and bringing in the door. So what I want you to do is, as I leave, those two or three people that you're speaking to, I want you to send an email inquiry off, an anonymous one, to those two or three people. I'll touch base with you tomorrow and let's look at the uh, two things. The speed of the reply and most importantly, the quality of the reply. So what we do, we wouldn't give them too much time, we give them a call by about 11 o'clock the next day. Hey, how'd you go? Immediately we would eliminate half our competition. Okay, because they're asking for landlord marketing contributions and all those things, but they can't look after a friggin' lead when it comes through. The second thing who we'd also wipe out is people would have the standard template response. We would actually have a rule, we'd have one person in the office for this, and I know some of the size of your offices, this won't work, so you gotta work around it. But we'd have a one hour business rule. So we would turn an email inquiry around in one business. So when we set it up, Part of our response was to write this most beautiful email. Fiona, thank you for inquiry on this great new property over in Ascot. Next slide. One of the best features of this home has to be the outdoor blah, blah, blah. Certainly the best way to spend a Sunday afternoon. In relation to price, in relation to open times, in relation to, we put it all there in the template. Um, and so it'd be copy, paste, oh, take that line, take that line out. Um, P.S. We noticed most people wouldn't leave, uh, wouldn't, weren't leaving phone numbers. So we noticed you didn't leave a phone number. Best way to do is this. And it'd just be a really beautifully well written email. Now, this email wasn't just for the buyer or the prospective tenant. It was for future sellers slash potential property managers. And so we were really, really big on that. And if you want to get rid of competition in your area, really easy way just to play that card, but do it well and do it properly and you've got to have your business rules.